we just got this UI, okay, HX UI. And um, I think it's awesome. I saw it, you know, a couple of people in chat told me about it and showed me screenshots of it and I love it. So um, Taco suggested that I make a video for it because you guys, you know, a lot of people want to download it. And there's people in chat that want to download this. So we're going to download it right now. So if you guys haven't downloaded this and you want to download it, we're just going to go ahead and do it right now. Uh, <laughs> trying to get, trying to get, God, I really want to go to Kufum too, dude. I really want to go to Kufum Island. I haven't, I haven't gone to Kufum Island yet. So, but not right now. We'll go, we'll go some other time guys. Okay. Um, but anyways, people in chat, um, some of you guys want to do this. Who, who, who wants to download this right now? Cause what we'll do is we'll go through it right now. Okay. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and make a video out of it as well. Okay. So, um, uh, you want to download it? Okay. So if you want to download it, you need to get your, you need to get your, um, shut your game down. Okay. So shut your game down and then we'll continue. Okay. So for those of you guys who are watching on stream, the link for this right here, where you download is just scroll up a little bit. It'll be right there. Okay. Cause I just put it. Okay. So, uh, for those of you guys watching this on YouTube, just go in the, um, uh, in the description below and a link to the GitHub will be there. And when you get here, you want to go under code right here and you just want to download the zip. You're going to go ahead and take this right here and you are going to extract it to your desktop. Okay. The way you do that is just grab it and just drag it to your freaking desktop and it'll extract it to your desktop. Okay. Just do that. So when you, once you put it to desktop, here's mine right here, right? So just go ahead and double click it. All right. And this file is the file that you're going to need. Okay. Don't change the name. If people are telling you to change your name, change the name of it, you don't need to change the name of it. Okay. I think before you needed to change the name to consolidate the UI or something like that, but you don't have to do that anymore. Okay. So leave it at HXUI. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to move these. Let me go ahead and get my other folder in here. Locate your add on folder. Okay. And here's my add-on folder right here has all my various different add-ons and I have HXUI already in here because I've already done this. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this file right here and you are going to go ahead and uh, right click the file, copy it or whatever, copy it and then move it over to your add-on folder and make sure again, you don't change the name here from HXUI to consolidated UI or anything like that. This is how it should look inside. You should have everything, everything like this. All right. So before we actually finish doing this, guys, I want to do one thing. Okay. I want to do one thing because I know a lot of you guys saw how my party, my little party uh, menu was pitch black. If you double click on your HX UI and you go to assets, okay, click on HX UI guys and go to assets. You're right here. This P list underscore BG is not going to look like this. You already did that. Okay, cool. So for those of you guys who didn't do that, yours is probably going to look a little bit gray. Okay. If you want, I highly recommend if you want to basically, um, HX UI has its own little party, um, uh, it's, its own little party menu. If you want to use that party menu instead of your current party menu, which is just a normal, you know, the way all the names pop up on the bottom right hand of your screen when you're in a party. If you want to use theirs instead of yours, you need to make it so that yours can cover. That. Okay. The best way to do that is just to change the color. The only way to do that is to change the color. So you're going to right click here and you're going to go to edit with paint 3d. Okay. You edit it right here. And of course mine has already been edited. Um, it was kind of grayscale before. So all you do is you click the bucket. You click the freaking um, black here and you pour it there pitch black and you go to your menu and you hit the save button. Okay. It legit could not be easier than that. And you just save it. That's it. So whenever you go and set up your, um, your, you, you know, your, your HX UI when you're in game and you're, you know, doing all your little cool things, when you get into a party, it is going to be pitch black. And I'm sure you guys will like that. Uh, you'll see in a minute exactly what that's going to look like. Okay. 
So the next thing you guys want to do is go to your search bar on the bottom and find your notepad. You're going to right click and run as administrator and open. Okay. Now you go. Now what you want to do is you want to open your script folder, find the horizon, go to game, go to scripts. I had to remember where this, where, where this was for some reason, and then open up your script folder or your, your open up your scripts. Okay. It's called your default script. Okay. Um, and you're going to scroll down wherever you guys are adding all of your little commands that you added to the game on your own. Okay. If you didn't do anything like that, they're going to put it right under where it says, do not touch this weight line. You're going to put it right underneath the weight three. I misspoke earlier when I was telling you guys, uh, where to put the add on um load hxui and i said put it with all of your other stuff all your other custom user settings yeah don't do that okay you want to put it exactly where i put it before where i told you to put it originally uh, which is under the do not touch this weight line right under there okay this is all your plug-in and add-ons this little section under the weight three this is where you want to put in the slash add-on load hxui and hopefully if you put in the custom user settings, um, like FPS and stuff like that, it's down here. Okay. If you do that, you're going to have no, you should have no issues. Okay. So make sure you do that. So now we're in the game. If you did everything correctly, all of these things here, all your little assets are going to be like jumbled up in the corner over here on the top left. Okay. You just grab them. You don't have to shift click them. You literally just click them and drag them. It's a lot easier than the mini map. The mini map, you have to actually sh the shift click. Okay. These, you, all you have to do is just drag them, grab them and drag them where you want them. Okay. You can put things wherever you want. You have this little bag thing for your inventory. I have 28 out of 40 inventory slots. So I don't need to actually physically open up my inventory to see how many items I have. I know just by looking on the bottom right, I have 28 out of 40. And this is how much money I have. I have 24.8K. I'm not a very rich person, okay? Um, but but that, that's what I'm rolling with right now, okay? We're not keeping it a secret. Now, um, once you position everything the way you want it, now you can kind of mess with things. You can go ahead and target somebody real quick if you want to, to see your target bar when you're fighting an enemy or something, this is the bar that's going to show up. It's really, really cool. Um, I think you guys are going to really like that. So what you want to do now is type in slash HXUI. Okay. And this is the config. And with this config, you can literally just mess it, mess with everything that you want to mess with. Okay. Um, I am going to go back down to party list real quick. And I am going to, um, let's see, it's, it's hard to see. It's really hard to see this, guys. There it is. Okay. If you look to the far right, you're going to see it says uh, hero there on top. And that is what the the party um, menu is going to actually look like. Okay. I have it set up. I don't use it when I'm solo. Okay. Because the way that they have it with HXUI is all the other names are going to populate underneath yours and it's not set up like the game where it just kind of moves on its own. It's stationary. So because of the fact that it's stationary, I just don't use it when it's when I'm solo. I, I just don't like the way it looks. OK, because what I have to do is every single time I get into a party, I have to I'm going to have to move the menu to where it's visible. And I just don't want to mess with it. So I would rather just um, not use it when I'm solo, but you can go ahead and change the scale. You can do all that. You can you can mess around with the experience bar. You can add certain things. You can, you know, not use certain things. Um, it's all up to you how you guys want to do it. I mean, I'm looking at mine right now. And, you know, because of the fact that I stream, I have to worry about my mug. You know, my face has to go somewhere on the screen. So I'm kind of like torn between, do I want to keep it like this? You know, Final Fantasy 11, the chat box is, is a very, very, you know, integral part of the Final Fantasy 11 UI from old school. Like I remember having this big old chat bar, this big old chat box when I used to play. And this is how I had it. I mean, it literally took up the whole bottom screen. Okay. Um, this is 
you know, actually consolidated. So I'm messing up with a few, I'm messing around with a few ideas in my mind, you know, going to config, um, going to uh, the windows and switching them from horizontal to vertical. Um, and then kind of moving my chat somewhere else or my, sorry, my face somewhere else. Like, I, I just don't know. So I'm gonna mess around with it and I'm make a really good looking UI the way I want it, the way it's gonna work for me. But um, I mean, you can have a blast with this guys. You can, you can just do so many different things with this and make your stuff look different, make certain things smaller, bigger, whatever. But I mean, if you like it, it's there for you and that's how you guys download it. So I hope you enjoy it. I like this, this is, this is nice. Okay, let's get our Moogle, our target right here. Dude, this is legit. This is legit. This is nice and clean, dude. This is a nice, clean UI. I'm really like, this is so much better than it was. And then we can go ahead and move this thing right here. I'm gonna put that there. And yeah, I'm just gonna put the, the money, the money right next to it, I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna put the money right next to it. Yeah. 